Hello to all my YouTube followers. Welcome to my channel and here I'm going to make AutoCAD easy and a handy tool for you. Today I'm going to give you a quick discussion about how to create circles in AutoCAD. But before that, let me give you a very quick refresher about terminologies related to circles. First, we have the center, which we all know is the middle or the core of the circle. But technically speaking, it is the point where the radius is fixed and rotated to create the circle. Then we have the circumference. It is the distance from any point of the circle passing through the sides of the circle going back to the same point. It is the circumference. Then we have the radius. It is the distance from center of the circle to any point on the circumference. If it didn't come from the center, it can never be called a radius. Then, we also have the diameter. Diameter it is two times the radius, or two points on the circumference passing through the center. If it didn't pass through the center, it can never be called a diameter. We also have quadrant. From the word quad means four, if you cut the circle into four equal sizes, you are creating a quadrant. So this is technically quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. We also have tangent. It is the point where a straight line touches the curvature of the circle but doesn't intersect. That is the tangent. To create a circle, type C, enter. Then the command line will prompt you to specify center point of the circle. For now, pick anywhere. Then in the command prompt, by default, they will ask you to specify radius of the circle. Let's say 1000. Enter. So this is your circle with a radius of 1000. If you change your workspace into drafting and annotation, you will see that there is a toolbar here that is specially made for circle. And if you click this little pull down arrow, you can see that there are still some options for the circles. This time let's try the center radius, pick. Make sure that your F3 is on and hover your mouse here somewhere on the quadrant when the quadrant appears don't pick then I'm doing the tracking if this tracking line, this green dotted lines appear make sure uh, that your F11 is on pick so it, you, you will have the same level as the center of this circle then Radius type 1000 or whatever value that you uh, enter, it will be considered as radius. That's center radius. You can see it's the same as the previous circle that we did a while ago. Let's try another one, center diameter. Hover your mouse here. Make sure that your F3 and F11 is on. Then tracking. Pick. So whatever value that you will enter, it will be considered at the, as diameter, 1000. You can see it becomes smaller than the previous circles because it is, the, it is considered as the diameter. This time, let us try the two point. Pick. I'm going to pick this quadrant and this quadrant. So your circle will be created between that two points. Or let's say if you have a rectangle. Then let's try again this uh, circle with two points. So your circle will be exactly on the points that you selected. Trim. Now you have a window. 
Now let's try the circle with three points. Pick three points. Make sure that your object snap or F3 is on. Pick the center of this uh, arc. First point. Second point. Third point. So the circle will fit itself to the points that you selected. The center point of this arc, the midpoint of this uh, line, and the midpoint of this line. Now let us try the other options. The circle tan tan radius or tangent tangent radius. Let's try this. So suppose you have a straight line, something like this. Another line here. So let's try this. Tan tan radius. Pick. Make sure that your object snap is on and this tangent symbol appears. If it doesn't appear on your object snap, right click this object snap icon on the status bar. Then check the tangent. Mine is checked. When it appears, pick, then try the radius of the circle, let's say 1000. So this is your circle with the radius of 1000. It doesn't seem to touch the, the line, but if you extend this line all the way, it will be touching the circle right on the tangent point, but it will not cross the circle. Same thing here. It will go to the tangent point of the circle. The idea is that the circle will fit itself so that it will follow the radius that you entered and at the same time it will be tangent to these uh, lines that you picked. Now let's try the last option. The circle tan 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 or tangent tangent tangent. Pick. Let's try these three lines. Tangent. Another tangent and another tangent. So this is your circle. You will notice that it didn't ask for any radius or diameter, but the circle will fit itself tangent to the lines that you selected. Tangent meaning it the, the curve of the circle will touches these lines, but never intersect. See, it never crosses the lines or the curves. Same thing here, when you extend this one, it will, it will touch the curve of the circle. So there you have it, how to create your circles. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload the new videos. Stay safe, stay at home, God bless to all.